let a b c be subsets of a universal set s and a delta b equal to c that is symmetric difference of two sets a and b equal to c prove that c intersection a union b equal to c we have a delta b equal to c now by definition of symmetric difference we can write this as a minus b union b minus a equal to c now to show these two sets are equal first we show c intersection a union b is a subset of c which is obvious now let x belongs to c intersection a union b now this implies x belongs to c and x belongs to a union b therefore x belongs to c intersection a union b implies x belongs to c therefore c intersection a union b is a subset of c by same logic we can also say that c intersection a union b is a subset of a union b because we do intersection of two sets is a subset of a and also subset of b because we know a intersection b contains those elements which belongs to both a and b now x belongs to intersection if x belongs to intersection we then obviously x belongs to a and also if x belongs to a intersection b then obviously x belongs to b so obvious this and this now we name it one to show c subset of c intersection a union b let and this is arbitrary let a be arbitrary because to show a subset of b we have to show every element of a is an element of b and this happens for all x now let y belongs to c b arbitrary to prove these two sets equal let y minus to c be arbitrary now we have two option either y belongs to a union b or y does not belongs to a union b now case one if y belongs to a union b then it is obvious that now we have y belongs to c and if y belongs to a union b then y belongs to both c and a union b therefore it is obvious that y belongs to c intersection a union b therefore y belongs to c implies y belongs to c intersection a union b therefore c subset of a union b if y belongs sorry therefore c subset of c intersection a union b if y belongs to a union b now case 2 if y does not belongs because here y belongs to a union b now if y does not belongs to a union b then y does not belongs to a and y does not belongs to b because this is a this is b if y does not belongs to a union b then obvious y does not belongs to a and y does not belongs to b because if y belongs to a then y also belongs to a union b or if y belongs to b then y also belongs to a union b so this is obvious now we have to prove c subset of c intersection a and b now we will get a contradiction here if we assume y does not belongs to a union b now y does not belongs to a union b implies y does not belongs to a delta b now a delta b is this union this a minus b union b minus a 
सिंस ए डेल्टा बी इज ए प्रपार सबसेट अफ एनियन बी अबियस इफ वाई डज नट बिलंगस टू एनियन बी देन वाई डज नट बिलंगस टू दिस एंड दिस अल्सो देर फोर इफ we do not write this here we directly write if y does not belongs to a and b this implies y does not belongs to a delta b now this implies y does not belongs to now a delta b is given c therefore y does not belongs to c hence we start with y belongs to c and we we get y does not belongs to c so this is a contradiction this is a contradiction hence y belongs to a union b or hence our assumption is false therefore y belongs to a union b now if y belongs to a union b we already show c subset of c intersection a union b we name it 2 and we already name it named it 1 now from 1 and 2 we find that c equal to c intersection a union b therefore from 1 and two we find that c equal to c intersection a union b proved for like this video please share subscribe and comment